everybody. Welcome back to the second part of our 1805 project, Clutch 101. You can see I got help today, so let's just let's just dive right in and get going. All right. Now that we're under here with poor lighting and all this good stuff, like I said before, I don't think this is going to be that tough of a job. First thing we got to do is get this abortion out of here, and then. Pump one and pump two. We'll get the belts loose. Pumps disconnected and hanging. The bracket and then the bell housing. And according to my manual, we should be able to pull the clutch out and, uh, and see what we're working on. So let's get to it. Okay, next step, I gotta loosen up the belts on both of these pumps, get them out of the way. Friends, let me tell you a little story about this piece of yeah, piece of shaft. If you've ever gotten on a Massey forum and read about what a pain in the ass these jack shafts are, they're 100% correct. It's time for a beer. Okay, so now that that's out of there, my next goal in life is going to be. I know you can't see this, but there's a little pin here. Same on the other pump. I gotta drive those pins out, get the pumps off of this here bracket, remove the bracket, get it out of the way, and then we can pull the clutch. Sounds simple enough, right? Right. Hey, all right. PB to the rescue. Okay, well that was just as easy as giving childbirth to breech twins. Okay, I'm going to do an attempt to do myself a favor here and tie these pumps up out of the road. Okay, with those tied up out of the way, let's get the stupid bracket out of here. Now remember fellas, this is very important. Never use a chrome socket on your impact. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, that was easy. Okay, there's that. Get these fellas out of the way. Book says it goes through the bottom. I disagree with that. There's no way that's going through the bottom. Okay, well as I suspected, that's a professional looking plug job right there, so that's probably where all this oil that was all over the clutch plate and all over the flywheel came from to ruin my life and cause me to do this job. So we're going to get that out of there, 
plug it differently and better than it is now because that's that's just a mess. That's not going to work. Get this throw out bearing changed. I got the uh, flywheel getting turned. So that'll be just flush and brand new, ready to go. And as uh, soon as we get that back, why we can just uh, we can get going here. Got my flywheel back from the machine shop here. It's important to give them a good squirt when you get them back with your favorite quality brake cleaner. They put a oh, look at there. Look at all that grease coming out of there. Excellent. They put some stuff on the flywheel to keep it from rusting up on you, which is great. But you got to get it back off of there again. Well, hopefully that'll do it. Oh, my basketball career is calling. Let's get her perfect. I don't need more practice doing this job. Once is plenty. to get some more brake clean. I just want to show you the quality they put into putting pads on these clutch plates when you buy some of the best aftermarket stuff in the world. Maybe there's a reason for that. Maybe it's supposed to grip different areas of the flywheel. I don't know, but you know, just looking at it, I mean, that, that looks like hell. Am I wrong? I don't know. Nothing I can do. By golly, that looks pretty good. Okay. We're gonna have to align the clutch here. And this is where we gotta get a little creative. You know how it is, I find a way or I make a way. Either way, it's gonna go. Okay, guys, remember this? Whoa. Okay, guys, remember this? Of course you don't. Let me refresh your memory. This is the PTO shaft that came out of the 1100 when I split that and put the new PTO collar in it. And lo and behold, it's the same PTO shaft that the big tractor uses. So, in order to make myself a clutch alignment tool, we're gonna get a little creative. Figure that. Oh, there. That goes about there. I'm going to wrap tape around here to take up the extra slack inside of this this uh, clutch plate, and voila, instant clutch alignment tool for the everyday low cost of whatever this tape cost me. Beautiful thing, you can make it any size you want because it'll work. That's the best. There. 
I feel like that couldn't be any more better if it was professionally done. Good enough for this guy. That still feels good. Perfect. Well, that's a good news day. Only one thing to do, I guess. We'll just have to hoist this heavy bastard up and just go jam it in that tractor. Okay, friends, I wanted to take a quick second to show you what I've done here. I, uh, the way the original owner, or whoever had it before him, had this set up. They took the PTO shaft and they cut it kind of even with the end of the input shaft here. And they had a kind of just a tin plug over it with some JB Weld, and of course it didn't hold. So what I did is I, well, first I tried to pull the shaft out, but there must be a snap ring or something on the other side of it because it wasn't coming out of there. So I took a die grinder and a drill, and I basically cut it back in there about an inch. And I was able to find this freeze plug it's an inch and three sixteenths freeze plug. Now the inside of that shaft is inch and five thirty seconds. So essentially, this freeze plug is an inch and six thirty seconds. So you can see by the dents in it, I got it to, I persuaded it to go in the hole. That should plug that off a lot better than what they had originally used. I'm still going to go over and uh, smear a little JB Weld on the inside of the lip of that plug and uh, by golly then she's clutch time to get it finagled into the frame that's a start now all I got to do is spin it around flip it up and slam it into place okay looking forward to that holy crap look at that guys Unbelievable. Woohoo! Look at that. Unbelievably easy. Said no one ever. It's in there though. Okay. Okay, my friends, I'm gonna shut you down right there, and I'll tell you why. I think I can get those hydraulic pumps back on without too much trouble, and there's just not enough room for everybody to be in there to watch all that, so I'll just go ahead and put those back on. But, wait, there's more. Now don't just think I'd leave you hanging, and that's gonna be everything. Remember this guy? It ain't going back in. Tune in next week and find out why. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see ya.